Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them out in bite-sized pieces. So today I want to separate this story from the daily video that we do because it's uh, I think it's a pretty important thing. And uh, this is going to have ripple effects, not just for the taxpayers in America, but globally about what's going on. And this all starts off with uh, President Joe Biden of the United States seeks uh, $80 billion dollars to beef up the IRS audits of high earners. And uh, we've already talked about the, the market today, everything's going great, uh, you know, we're at $2.1 trillion. But uh, I must remind everybody that it's not how much you make, it is how much you keep. And when we talk about this article, just remember that um, you may not be a high net worth earner right now. Uh, I, I don't know your personal situation, I have no idea. But as time goes on, Every single day, there are more millionaires being minted because of cryptocurrency and digital assets. So I think this is important to uh, talk to definitely the people in the United States and uh, definitely people throughout the world, because if this uh, takes hold right here, how many other different countries would be like, you know what, that's a pretty good idea. So what's going on here? Well. President Joe Biden's America's American Families Plan will be, uh, which he will uh, talk about this week, and he's going to talk about how he's going to fund it, uh, will be offset in part by a tax enforcement effort uh, where officials believe will raise $700 billion over a decade. And I have to tell you, that's a pretty good uh, uh, ROI. If you're going to put in $80 billion to beef up the IRS and you're going to get $700 billion back, why wouldn't you just start beefing it up even more? Because if you want to really crack down, you can do these things. What is going on? So the Internal Revenue Service is going to get an extra $80 billion and more authority over the next 10 years to help crack down on tax evasion by high earners and large corporations. And I think we've all heard the same stories, right? We've heard about like, well, these... You know these billionaires and millionaires they're they're taking all this money and they're and they're uh, just hoarding it and we can never find it because of xyz whatever it is right uh the government is underfunded the irs isn't doing their job and uh, we just can't get this well that's all going to change because biden's like look we need like trillions of dollars and uh we can't just keep printing money even though it worked out pretty well why don't you just keep printing it just kidding i can't keep doing that and uh, what they're going to do is they're going to try to really crack down on uh, the average Joe and Joe and Jane and uh, try to get it from that th on that side. So and on top of that, they're going to do things like this. The additional money and enforcement power will accompany new disclosure requirements for people who own businesses that are not organized as corporations like law firms and real estate partnerships and uh, such and such and things like that. So it sounds to me like if you are don't have an LLC, S Corp, C Corp, it's going to get a little bit uh, tricky for you uh, if you have if you're just like a, an average investor who just happens to have a windfall because of some digital or some asset that you were in that could have been cryptocurrency or anybody else. And, uh, you know, if, they, if they're, they're going to pretty much say like, look, if you don't want to uh, pay the taxes, that's fine, but uh, we'll crack down because we've got uh, more people, we've got more money to do it. And I think this is the issue. So if the president is successful, individuals who earn more than 400,000 a year would face a higher likelihood of a tax audit, which is a little bit interesting because before it was, the IRS was underfunded. Uh, this is a report that I saw out in Bloomberg or some other place where they were underfunded and they couldn't really do the things they want to do because these huge uh, entities, institutions, whatever you want to call them, or people in general were just like, well, I'm just going to lawyer up. And then if you want to audit me, that's fine. We'll just stick this in, 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 in the courts for years and uh, we'll see how this goes. But now they're like, you know what? We got you. We're gonna we're gonna make sure that we beef up as much as possible, and we're gonna try to get that money back. If that costs us a little bit of money, uh, we sure will do it because we got to pay for a lot of things, and uh, you just can't keep hiding it from us. And uh, here we go. So um, that's pretty much it. Because. <laughs> The rest of the article is all about politics, and I am not going to get into that. There are two things uh, you never talk about if you want to keep friends, and that is uh, religion and politics, unless you are we're on like-minded people, so I will just avoid that at all costs. But I find this interesting that this is the case of what's going on, and we just heard not too long ago, I think this was on, and this was one of the reasons for the big dips uh, last week, was Biden was talking about, look, 
if you are a high net worth earner of a million dollars or more, we're going to try to uh, do the capital gains tax uh, long term from 20%, which is what it's been for a very long time, I think like 15 or 20 years, 20%, all the way up to 39.6%. And then if you're also on the higher end of that, you're right. For the uh, individual, we're going to go from 37% to 39, uh, somewhere around there for your individual taxes as far as your gains. So again, right now people are thinking about like, well, it doesn't apply to me because I don't have 400,000. It doesn't apply to me I don't have 100,000 or 1 million. Now, let me tell you, when I look at Twitter and I look at the comments section and I look at like, well, just taking a look at like Celsius, right? You see people making, you know, thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of dollars per week just because of buying, holding on to crypto and gaining interest. Um, so if you think like, well, I'll never have that. So think again, it is right around the corner and it could be happening to you. And that's a good problem to have. So the question is, do you just want to just sit back and be like, ah, okay, well, I don't really care. Or do you want to actually do something about it right now? Because right now, if you think about it, you could just not follow your taxes. Like is what I, I, this is what I get in a lot in my, in my comment section. Well, the hell with it. I don't really care because it's too complex or cryptocurrency isn't, it isn't built for that. And uh, they'll never catch me. Let me tell you, I think we all know I've been through an audit myself years ago and uh, if they want to catch you they'll catch you and now it looks like they really want to catch you because they're putting a lot of money into it so what do we do well here's the thing you can uh, put your head in the sand uh, just like an ostrich and not really deal with it or you're gonna say you know what okay let's get this done let's see where i can i can go this is not financial advice but i will tell you there are a lot of different options for taxes where you can take legal deductions and that's the importance of a CPA. The first thing we need to do really is talk about getting all everything together as far as your taxes. Look, if you're in the United States, taxes are due May 17th. So I think we all know this. I've been talking about this for quite some time. So if you feel like, okay, that $80 billion, maybe that's directed towards me. <laughs> maybe you should just get every, all your ducks in a row right now and just start filing. So just use CryptoTrader.tax. There's a link in the description. Uh, Dan users get... I want to say 15% or 20%, one of those two, don't hold me to it. One of those two, you get you get a good percentage off. And also uh, until tax day, they are doing, uh, they're gonna win a, you can win a free unlimited report. There's a, also a link, it'll take you to this website, just put in your first name and email and they draw one every single week. If you don't wanna deal with that, just sign up for uh, taxes and you can do your taxes. I've done them two years straight, works out pretty well. On top of that, uh, if you don't like paying taxes, why don't you just get, a uh a roth ira so this is i trust i have them as well they are friends of the show they have been past sponsors of the show uh they're not sponsoring this video well they probably should have and uh, i will just tell you this that um you can take your all your well you can use your your cash that you have you can uh set this up you can buy cryptocurrency and then guess what as it appreciates you don't have to pay taxes on it now there's different stipulations and uh, you can find all those things out. If you got like a traditional IRA, uh, a 401k, 403b, TSP, all that stuff, you can roll it over into something like this. They will help you out with that. And then uh, also in quarter, I guess now it's quarter three, maybe quarter two, I don't know. Uh, you're going to be able to uh, stake your uh, Cardano, your Polkadot, and your Ethereum, which is one of three of their cryptocurrencies they offer. And uh, all the different, rewards that you get on that are also tax-free so you'll get uh, tax-free from the cryptocurrency and tax-free for the rewards which is pretty great also in the description i mean all the links that you can find you can there's this video it's about 20 minutes long and i explain the difference between a traditional ira a sep ira a roth ira and a cryptocurrency ira and who this applies to uh, maybe for you so this is just one way that you can you know legally legally uh, get around paying a boatload of taxes. So uh, this is just something I wanted to bring to your attention because I mean, when I see something like this, I think to myself, uh, I don't want you to go through an audit. I don't want you to have to pay huge penalties and it's not what you make, it's what you keep. And uh, I just want you to be protected. That's it. So that's it for today. So thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate it. Uh, like it, subscribe it, all that good stuff. Links in the description. See you on the next one.